think how convenient it's gonna be living here while we fix it up as a showboat? Luke, do you think that showboat idea is really so hot? Well, I, I don't know if it is or not yet, but it's a hell of a lot better than a car dealership or a head waiter at the Versailles room. Yeah. Well, what kind of a nightclub is it going to be? Is it going to be like the disco? <laughs> no? I, no, I killed disco. I keep telling you oh, that. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I think people are tired of trash and flash and flashing lights and stuff. I think they want, I don't know, something classier. I think they want imported wine instead of pizza crystal instead of paper cups. They want a class act. Uh-huh. Enter Lucas Lorenzo. And Mrs. Lorenzo. It was uh, as much your decision as mine, wasn't it? Well, uh, I won't stand in your way. I can promise you that. Business, is that it? What business are you in, Mr. Lutz? He's in transportation. Oh, that must be interesting. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna fix a drink. May I get you anything, Mr. Lutz? Hey, call me Charlie. Sure, I'll have a beer. Of course you will. And anything else he can get his hands on. What was that? Uh, well, nothing, nothing. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Stella, would you please get a beer for Mr. Yes, Lutz? Yes, Mr. Courtney. <sighs> so, uh, Eddie, uh, you haven't told me, uh, what, what do you do for a buck, huh? <laughs> well, I have various interests. You know, real estate development, imports, exports. ELQ is what is known as a diversified entrepreneurial organization. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I do a little bit of that on the side, too. Oh, 
Carla. Uh, oh, Charlie, you should have seen it. Just so many beautiful rooms, almost as many as the motel. Yeah, and you've seen plenty of those, huh? Oh, but you should have seen this bathroom upstairs. It was just completely huge with marble and little gold spigots and I've everything. seen bathrooms before, you know? You can dress them up, but it's still a John. Is your name, Mr. Lutz? Uh, would you care for uh, a Emma? Yeah, hey, thanks a lot. Oh, well, thank you, Mrs. Quartermain. I will have a Bombay surprise. A what? It's 151 rum with a little bit of ginger ale and a splash of fruit punch. Yeah, and just a little twist of uh, lemon, you know, to make it go down nice and easy. Yeah, Charlie taught me all about them. I, I, I don't think we have any ginger ale. Would uh, tonic water do? Oh, sure, it'll mix. Huh. Oh. Well, well, Lee, my well, welcome sight. Come in, come in, Edward. Nice to see you, sir. Well, hello, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Shall we open the champagne? Ha <laughs> ha, splendid idea. That is over there. Uh, well, yes, that's the Baldwin boy. Yeah, he's the one that tried to ruin Luke and Laura's wedding. Yeah, that was just a desperate moment. Uh, he's really a very nice boy. I don't believe that. No nice boy would do a thing like that, Lila. So, uh, kid Tommy, you know, what kind of business are you in? Law. Oh. You a cop? Yeah. Lawyer. Now, has everybody got their glass filled? Oh. I do. <laughs> Well, then I think, Edward, you should propose a toast. <coughs> well, all right. Bottoms up. Oh, yeah. no, 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 Edward. That's not at all an appropriate toast for Thanksgiving. I'll do it. To Luke and Laura. They're absent but in our hearts. And we owe them as much thanks as the pilgrims. I, I mean, they saved Port Charles. And they're the real heroes of this community. If you all will excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Oh, wonderful. Good. It was great. Hello, Mrs. Spencer. How was your trip? It was beautiful. We had the most beautiful drive, too. How was the honeymoon? Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, I hope you're hungry, because there's one big bird out there in that oven sizzling away. Yeah, I can smell it. Where's Ruby? Good question. Well, she should have been here by now. She's not home. Well, I'm sure she'll show up any second. I'm going to call her. Excuse me. Sure. Okay. Oh, I'm going to excuse you. Oh, you are. For you. I'm sorry. Thank you. See the yacht? Yes, we stopped there. It's uh, big. And empty. Well, we'll fix our line. Yes, did you give any uh, more thought to the showboat? Well, we've been talking about it. I think it might be a good idea. What do you mean, might? It's going to be a marvelous idea. I know it's going to work. Now, if there's one thing I know about, darling, it's the entertainment industry. <laughs> and a little bit about hog calling, too. Hog calling. <laughs> yes, actually, we ran into a few hogs down in Beach and Cordia. We're really quite simple creatures, Sorry, you know. <laughs> a little bit like Robert. You know, they are, uh, if you keep them fed and happy, they're really quite easy to handle. Not as generous, though. <laughs> we'll see, darling. <laughs> well, it seems you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't always get the country out of the girl. But I'll fuck. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> no. mm -hmm. oh. uh, you have Dad, do you want... I think I'll get some Well, oh, I think that what maybe... Think about this, again, uh, showboat uh, idea. <laughs> well, I think it's a very good idea, as long as you have the right people running it. A ship like that lends itself to those sort of things. So, no. Yeah, and if you can't sell it, what choice do you have? Look, I'm really sorry to have pulled you away from your honeymoon for Helena Kessler. Right? <laughs> well, it was, uh, I guess it was all in a good cause. The hospital got $10 million, I heard, mm -hmm. yes. I must tell you, that meeting with her was one of the strangest experiences of my life. Really? Yeah. Can I ask me? Yes, please. Yeah, please. Well, it was... Um, Ruby still doesn't answer, and she should be here by now. Right. Well, when was the last time you called her? About an hour ago. Well, it doesn't take that long to get here. Well, maybe we should have a Wait a minute, there's probably Ruby with a flat tire or something. We'll have to go rescue her. Hello? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Where? What is it? What is it? There's been an accident. Ruby was hit by a truck. I gotta get over there. Go with you. I'm supposed to the doctors. Anywhere in her condition. No, just that it's serious in the next of kin. Let's go. I know. Yeah, I can help. Oh, mouse, what a horrible thing to have happen on Thanksgiving. Not now. Me. Well, it's horrible any time. Amy, I mean it. Just sit there quietly now, please. I'm sorry. Uh, Amy, let me tell you a little bit about when we come from the middle. Did you get it up? Did you come up? I always tell my patients at a time like this not to jump to conclusions. And you're right. Why didn't I go? I should have gone. Hey, 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 hey. There's too many people are only going to complicate things. When they know something, they'll call us. And if you need it, I'll there drive you over. There is nothing in that whole area around Mercy Hospital except a lot of empty warehouses. What was Ruby doing all alone? Oh, really? Hey, come on, look. Everything's going to be fine. It'll be okay. It just seems like 